brush, this barber brush that we're going to be using, uh, it was specially designed for this particular mug. But the uniqueness of this barber uh, brush is that it's it's longer and for you for you for easier to work with versus if you were to use one of these in this barber mug your hands are hitting there so it's it it's a unique tool in a way that it's long enough that you're able to work uh, easily and freely with this this brush this here is a bore bristle um, I prefer a little bore bristle it has a little bit more strength to it but it's not necessarily it's it's kind of a preference as to you want to use a badger or a boar uh, myself I like I said I like the the boar because it's a, a little bit firmer on the skin so basically when you are using say the the brush you're not really cleansing the skin you, to a real degree you're just basically putting the lather on and I like that little bit of a feeling because it has a little bit more like I said a little bit more uh, stiffness to it versus the the badger that's kind of soft there's a different texture to the badger as you see this here this here is a badger brush and it, it, even though it looks the same it's just the texture of the badger is a little bit softer some guys like that that softness uh, I myself prefer this uh, the abort but the badger and the boar are excellent brushes to create that lather on one's face. But like I said, they're not to cleanse the face; they're there to put the uh, the lather onto the uh, onto the face. So those are two. So now let's go to the uniqueness of of the of this particular mug. What's so unique about this mug that I created was that it has a thumb portion up here, and you have a finger guide over here. So when you are mixing, you're able to hold on to it. You're not having to hold on like so, like the old ones that they had. Like here, this this particular mug is an old version that was here, but it, it doesn't fit the hand real well, and you can't grip it really well. So you wind up holding it like so in order to do the the uh, the, the get the uh, the the lather on. So. But it, even though that this brush fits into this, it's deep and it, and it does fit, but it's just awkward. So, so that's what I find this would be the so uniqueness of it is the, uh, it, it's got the finger grip and it's got the, uh, where you're able to manipulate it back and forth without having to, to worry about dropping it. So those are the two unique things about this one particular item, you know, the, this two combination is, is very well put together, I think, and uh, it works very well for me. But now that we know a little bit more about the, the, the brush and the, and the mug, and so here we have uh, a cake of soap and, and, and the uh, brush in it, but what we're really going to show you here is uh, this particular cake, and to make it stick, what you would do is take the cake, uh, of course, this is the side you'd use up. Dampen this a little bit. You drop it down in there so it sits down in a little bit of a water prior to, to shaving so it doesn't move around and it, it, it'll stick to the bottom of the, uh, of, the, of the cup. So this has been well used so it sticks to the bottom of the cup and it's not going to slide around. So that's how you kind of glue it down, put a little bit of hot water, then sit down there, kind of don't press on it real hard, kind of just let it sit by itself and then it will uh, set up for you. So let's get to the how to make and create this lather. And you're allowing the brush to do the work. You're only there to guide it. It's just like anything else. You have a tool and the tool is there for you to guide it. Uh, so we start off again with some, with some warm water. And you're going to want to get your, your, your brush nice and warm, warm up your brush a little bit, and then put a little bit of water in there, let it slide around a little bit. Remember you have you have some water in the brush, kind of give it a little squirt like this and you got there, and then dump the water out, come in, dump the water, a little hot water, a little bit more. Okay, so now you have a little bit of water and you have the water, some water in your brush, so then you just start very slowly. No pressure, you're just letting it glide around, and what you're, what you're trying to do by going in a circular moment, motion like this, is you're trying to 
trying to create a cream like this electric one does here. You're trying to do a cream, create a cream with it. Okay, this is a what we use in the in in the, in the profession. So, if you're trying to make a cream, you're not not real sloppy with it. So, you're making the cream, and again, you have the water running. You have a little bit of water. So, if you feel it's not creaming up enough, you put just just take the head and get the head a little bit of water in there, and then continue on again. And then you go very quickly. Try not to make a lot of noise and just let it slide around the cup. So again, and then you wind up with a nice cream. But again, you're allowing the tool to do the work. Don't mash it, you know, don't mash down on it. You're just lightly gliding around, a little glide around. Again, and that's how it's done. Oh.